which is about um, making a cannon. Auto reloading. You can hear it. You just you have to actually click the TNT there. It's kind of a bummer working on that, but you press the button. Fires. As you can see, it reloaded. So yeah. slabs on each side. So we got that. And then you want to add those two. It's kind of cool you get so many things. You have oh it could be TNT that gets fired in. So you're gonna add the water now. In all of these spaces. And then you're gonna want to cover it up the water so that TNT doesn't fall in it and you know blow up your place. So you, you don't want to almost block that. So it's and then you want to add your redstone. So you have two to there and one over there. So your redstone on those two and on the other side. And then five repeater pointing towards where the water is. that and then begin on the bottom and five repeaters pick it up and the back three you want on total a so you can um, adjust it later depending on how you want the cannon to fire but that's just what I have it set up now you'll add your button power to those two red things. And then you're going to want to put the place where your TNT is going to be. So it's going to stay like that. And then five across. And five here. Just like that. straight across just like this and then you'll put your TNT on it just one in each space like this and then you're going to want to keep 13 high and two high so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then just going to stay there bottom right side of the can and you're going to alternate it with uh, your material and then a torch so you're going to do that so two high two three four five six seven You'll put it there, and you'll come across a couple of ribbon now. You're going to have to add more ribbon, but that's all right. You can do that. And then you will put the piston on it. So I'll have to, so you want them to be facing down towards the TNT. So as you can see, I just set one there and select the ribbon. But you want them all facing down.
sure we can't see. I mean, we're in a big spot. Peter's in the middle of the actual red thing. So, you're going to want these your Peter on the full delay when you put them on. Just pull, 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 pull. Now link up your redstone. And make little stairs. Just like that. Now link it to that torch. So what's going to happen is when you push the button, it's going to send the signal up, and it will push these things up. So it'll reload. And now you just need to link it up so it happens again. So just like that, you'll add whatever material you need it to use. And you've got to use um, gravel or sand. Can't go too deep, don't fall. And if you're mad at gravity, it works. Those things are your pistons, just like that, so they can push the gravel or the sand to wherever you want it to go. And then you're just going to link it up just like you did the other one. So, got your redstone there, and you don't want any delay on this first one because it pushes the sand in, and then it will push the um, the chain heat down. The other one does. So link it up and then add the reapers. I just need to make sure that it actually works. So yeah. It's not because they come with these 15 or I think or 12, but it works. Link it up. Now you're gonna add your gravel and you also want this to be 13 high. Because the piston can push. Steps just to link it up right there, and you're good. You sadly, like I said earlier, you do have to load this. And when it gets down to one more TNT, um, you're gonna want to reload it because the gravel will blow up if it's right on top of it. So when you get down to one more, then you want to reload it. I made that mistake the first time, and that's when I started using bedrock.